Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because it is episode 5 of building my dream slope style course here at Twisted Oaks Bike Park and we're stood on a now changed first roll in which is absolutely massive. <laughs> if you've been following along with this series you'll remember that the drop used to start on this level here and you had to pedal off the end of this which was quite scary when faced with a 12 foot drop in front of you so the guys here over the winter have added this top section and that's going to be an extra roll in on top of the drop so you get the perfect amount of speed to start your slope style run of dreams everything's been concreted in all this needs is just a stairway up ready for when it gets open to the public very soon but we're in the testing stages still so let's carry on this way and show some other additions that they've done before we get into finishing the final lip. It's been two months since the last episode, so I'm going to quickly run you through the line. We've obviously got the first drop, the double there. We're then into the option zone, the hip on the right, the wall ride on the left, and this mound, which we still haven't figured out what we're going to do with, but it is going to be some sort of option. You then got the big quarter pipe, which is one of my favorite features you can boost that so good and then the last episode we built this and we were given it its first test so it didn't have these nice sheets on so now we've got the full width logs placed across there which looks amazing from there we then hit that drop where we end up in this zone where the rain hasn't been as friendly we just need to sort this out and then we're into the finale. So after that hip, we then go flying down here and this is the exciting bit because this is the final feature. So this full line's so close to being done. We're gonna help Mark down here, get that built, spruce the rest of it up and then we can get the first full length run today in this video, which I'm well excited about. Let's get down there and help out. So I've taken over from Mark painting this creosote onto the wood. That's gonna keep the wood so it doesn't rot. And then Mark and John are going to screw on each plank like there. So we're slowly getting there and that ramp will be ready for a shreddy. It's actually going to be so sick to have a slope style line, especially that it's for the public. So you can all get your own little taster of what some of the slope style features are like. It's obviously not the size of crank works, but you've got to start somewhere, aren't you, if you want to get into the world of slope style. After all of that, I'm somehow not dirty on this white hoodie. And John's screwing the last beam on at the top. With the boards on there, you can see the size of this ramp. They still need to be screwed in a bit. And as you can see, the landing's a touch too small. So John is going to get a load of dirt in here to put on the back that we can lift the landing up another couple of foot to make it a step up. And then me and Louis are gonna head up the top and start clearing the whole way down, sprucing it up, ready for its first ride. Let's get up there. We got carried away and just done like half an hour of cleaning and now we've freshened that landing up. Louis swept all of that so it looks well perfect. Cleaned away all this stuff that formed from the trees. And now the first section is looking well ready for me get to ride it. So we're gonna move down and keep doing this all the way till we get to there so it's completely perfect. Ready for the exciting shreddy. So the whole time we've been up there working on that, John's been piling up more dirt on there. Look at this landing now, it's amazing, so long. And that's exactly what you want on a big jump like this. You want the chance that if you do crash, you've got loads of time to roll as you go along. Because before it was a bit steep and small, so if you did chain ring it, you'd go over the bars to the flat. But now, if you nosedive into the back of it, you've got a long distance to disperse all of your <laughs> momentum that you've got. It's now the next morning, and we're about to get warmed up on the top part here before we move down to see if the whole length line works with our new jump at the bottom. So let's test out this new rolling tower and the new improved speed, see what this is like. Here we go then, let's test the new rolling. Oh my God, that is amazing. Yo. Here we go, another lap. Pump off that. Oh yeah. Dreams. Let's just keep going. Oh, so much speed. 
let's get this show on the road then, shall we? UK's first public slope line is about to be ridden the whole way through. Couple more up here, because it's so fun. Just make sure the speed's there. Then we can get a huge no 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 on the last. Here we go, cruise in here. Pop off the drop. Perfect speed there. Wally, huge air there. Look at that, so much speed here now. Jump this. That's so on. Here we go. See if this works the whole way. Drop this, bit of wind in the air. Nice. Huge Wally. Big air. Little pedal up there. Oh, perfect! Oh, perfect! What on earth? Wow! Oh, look at the tyre mark. No way, that's sick. UK's first slope line, public slope line. Oh my God, look at the perfect landing. I know I raced it and jumped it a bit pushy through, but again. Wow. <laughs> look at that. It's incredible. Yes, John, good work. That's unbelievable. Like what a, what a jump to have at Twisted Oaks. That's crazy. There's everything you could ever want here now. And you can get more and more technical on this line. Obviously you can trick all the drops, all the features, and this will give you a bit of a taste as to what slope style comps can be like. Man, this is epic. Let's give it another go. I'll give this a big old backflip and see how that feels. Wow. What a jump. I think, even though the gap works like that, it might even want to go in like a touch, because that was quite a pedal on the flip. So we're going to move the ramp this way, like just a foot, because when I flipped then it was a lot of pedaling, and I landed just right on the top. So if you wanted to do tricks in flips, then it would be quite hard for the speed. So if that forward, it would be easier, and when it gets stiffer, we can obviously push it back. So. Let's get that moved. It's like a giant's foot forward now. That's fine. That's in the right angle. Right, it's now a foot short of the gap. Well, it was like a giant's foot about that. Should be the dream now, so I'll give it another go and we'll see what the speed's like. Wow, yeah, much easier. We hit that a few more times. Yeah, that's way better. Here we go. Cruisier one. Speed's pretty good. Let's, uh, let's try a three on it, because big threes always feel Ridiculous, and that is a big old jump that will feel well nice. Wow! Nice lofty three there. I can see a lot of fun being had on this line by anyone who wants to try it. When it's open, it's for the public, it's coming very soon. They're just going to make sure it all works, which we're doing now. And then we'll have a jam here to open it. But now I want to go up the top, see if we can sort of link some tricks on everything all the way down to do proper slope style runs. Drop it. Wow. Dreamy.
Yeah, John. Easy. Yo! Oh, yeah? Yo! Yeah! Yes, that was very good. Nice one. As you can see, the line is working top to bottom. This is amazing. It needs a few more little tweaks to get it stiffened up. And obviously, once, once we open it for everyone, the more riders that go on there, the stiffer and faster it's going to get. And it will just get better for everyone. So I'm excited when it's running super fast that we can blast out some big tricks on that final jump there. So when the jam happens, I'm sure we can get loads more bangers thrown down. What I want to try now is just do the wall ride and then pocket air and see if we can get up onto that top deck because with the pocket air you lose a bit of speed because you're landing into the softer stuff. Let's try that. Pocket air. Nice. With a bit of pedaling that works still. Right, we've just had a load of runs through the line. It's running quite well. It's still a bit soft in places and there's a few bits you want to do. So right now, John's going to get in the digger and that's the end of the riding for now. We're going to, you see this zone here, we're going to cut this all away. That's going to be a roller. So you can either drop and roller that or I'm going to make this steeper now so you can boost that properly like a spine hip. Then we'll have more speed into that. So he's going to bring the digger up and then get into this so it's slowly getting there i mean this is such a good sign that the first test day of that and it's been working that well i mean this is going to be unbelievable when it's running perfectly for an hour or so of work we're left with this new feature which looks amazing we've steepened up the inside of that hip there so you'll be able to actually pull up and get air which will give you more speed for the next and then obviously on the side there there's the roller option so the next episode of this build is going to be the public jam session so if you want to come along let me know below in the comments and also look out for it on my instagram it will be in about three to four weeks time and then this will be open for everyone to come in session we'll do a big jam get loads of filming done and throw down loads of bangers see you in the next one so let's go.